what do you think is the future of the automotive industry? Uh, that's, that's some answers we already gave uh, as AutoVest on a European level. Uh, also myself on uh, in different speeches. Definitely it's electric. The future of uh, automobile is electric. Talking about passengers cars, that's a fact, that's for sure. And even for uh, <clears throat> commercial vehicles, for uh, buses, uh, for trains, obviously, uh, are all of all of these will be electric. The discussion is uh, how we will produce the electricity on board. That's that's another subject. And here we have different technologies. Again, for passengers' cars, the future is electric with batteries. Uh, there is, to me, it's clear there is no other way. Uh, how you charge the batteries on the on the on the car? It's also a discussion. And here we can imagine uh, several options. The latest one, which is coming more and more in discussion, is the wireless uh, charging. And uh, as you know, Bianca, we just uh, had recently an interview, an exclusive interview with a specialist who accepted to explain a little bit more because uh, people are afraid to explain too much about these technologies. But uh, if you look to the longer uh, range transportation, like uh, commercial vehicles, definitely there, the hydrogen uh, fuel cell could be the solution. So generally speaking, the hydrogen is coming into the picture for long journeys. However, I predict that by 2025, we will have batteries, BEV, able to run with just one charge for uh, 1,000 kilometers. With such a range, that's really enough and then uh, you can go to a fast, uh, a super fast charging station for another 1,000 kilometer in uh, 45 minutes or uh, 40 minutes. That will be in 2025. So practically, there there will be no reason to have no electric cars. There is no reason to keep the ICE engines. 